Hello, my name is Sonam Bin and today I would like to push a Java E application to the cloud. So I would like to push a full stack Java E application with CentOS and OpenJDK to the cloud. So the largest possible image. To do this, uh, I will start with uh, Maven. So we need a app first. So let's start with the uh, standard Maven archetype and I would like to call it Cloudy. And um, I would also like to create a JAXOR as resource application Cloudy, no component, just the boundary uh, clouds resource. And uh, let's re need here a clouds and a very basic message. Uh, message, and this is going to be a get message and do something interesting and uh, return a message behind every cloud there is a sun so mess the message is almost longer than the app so as it should be with java e system current amelis so we have that so not even we don't even have to build this what i will need to do is to create a docker file so we start with that uh, no JSPs, Docker file. What I would like to create new other Docker file. And of course, uh, I would not like to use Alpine, which is tiny. I would like to use the CentOS full stack. So Airhex, Airhex Payara is the full. And uh, the Payara is based on OpenJDK and CentOS 7 is full stack Payara. And um, you, you will find the images in Docklands in my GitHub account. Copy, copy from target. So we have Maven, so we know, know this. And the name of the app is cloudy.war. And I would like to, do, to push it to deployment there. So it looks good. And now I would like to build, build this. So I will go switch to Cloudy and say Maven clean install. So it will fire up Maven. But at the same time, I will just chain it to build the Docker image. And the problem is I need a tag name. And in the tag name, I need the repository name, the private, uh, private registry name. And I would like to use the Amazon EC2 container registry and say, OK, Airhex slash Cloudy. This is my repository. Uh, Next, I have that, and the name, so we have here, this is the name of my repository, and this is the first push. So I will just, the initial build. So let's build that. So it looks good. So we have this uh, already built, and now I would like to push it. So docker push. And I will have to use this. This is the um, fully qualified name of the registry plus the repository name. So let's do that. And this will take a long time. And the reason for this is, so the first layer was the, act uh, the actual app. And uh, I guess this layer is going to be CentOS. Uh, this layer is going to be uh, the OpenJDK. And this is going to be the Payara. But the good news, it takes only the first time that long because it has to transport, you know, everything to the cloud. And the um, subsequent builds are going to be a lot faster. Why? Because, because if we look at the image, history, we see that uh, our image is actually 4K. This is the app. This is the Payara image. This is the uh, uh, JDK image. And this is the uh, CentOS image. And of course, these three images, they just change infrequently, I would say, three times a year um, at most. So JDK is released, I don't know, once in three years, I would say. There are, of course, patches every a few weeks. And uh, this changes frequently. So the subsequent pushes to the cloud are going to be lightning fast. So um, let's wait until it uploads and then proceed with uh, with our code. So our Cloudy app is pushed to the repository. It took a long time because everything need, need to be pushed. So uh, this uh, CentOS, uh, JDK, and the full Payara. But because of the um, 
hard separation between infrastructure and business logic. It happens only once. So now the service is already in the repository. So we have Airhex Cloudy here. And what we can do, we can go to the task definitions and say, okay, I would like to create a new task definition. And the task is going to be uh, cloudy. And I would like to add a container. And the container name is cloudy. Uh, not quite. I will need the full URI. So what we need is, this is the full name of the service. So I will put it here. Then hard limit, let's say we need uh, 512 megs of RAM. And pod mappings, I would like to expose the pod 8080. CPU units 1024, which basically means take the whole CPU. And um, yeah, looks good, add. So we have the container cloudy, 512, looks good, create. So uh, task was created successfully. And now we can go to the cluster, to the air hacks, and uh, now we can create a service. And we create a service, Cloudy1, cluster air hacks, service num name, let's say, call it class Cloudy Service. Number of tasks, let's say we need at least one task in the cluster. And no load balancing, so everything looks nice. And the, um, the task was created, and we can see it will run cloudy and uh, status pending, so it's about to, to be started. And the interesting part is I took this the smallest possible machine. Uh, it is the T, T1, I think, micro. It is one CPU and one gig of RAM. And let's see how well Java e runs on it. So we have this, let's say. So it's running, looks good. Um, so we have this task is running, everything looks good. Uh, the EC2 instance, so I show you the, the instance. So it's also running, and this is the uh, the IP address, or the DNS name, so I would just choose it. And first, I would like to see whether it works with 8080. You see the Payara is running in the cloud. And uh, it was a thing cloudy resources slash it was clouds i guess and you see behind every cloud there is a sun so this was from scratch pushed the app so now uh but what's interesting if i go back here and say uh behind uh or, or there, there are <laughs> there are no clouds so we have a software update so i will switch back here and say, I will just build it again. And push it again. So now it's done. So it means uh, if I'm, uh, so now the, uh, the, the service was pushed to Amazon and I will just have to update the uh, service and create new revision. But um, I go to the task definitions and go to the cloudy. Cloudy, create new revision, and it will ask me uh, the, the new container and so forth. And I could update the application right now, but the push was extremely fast. It would uh, it took uh, just a, a few seconds. And uh, the, the bigger would be the war, and the smaller the application server, the longer it will it take, uh, or the shorter will be the very first time push, or faster the push, but the longer it will take uh, all su subsequent updates which are actually the rule that you are updating uh, over and over again uh, a service in production or in development. So thank you for watching and enjoy Java E full stack and clouds.